That's him too cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Up until about a decade ago, any time people were discussing space exploration, the name NASA would no doubt come up within a few seconds. For decades, NASA was at the forefront of space technology and exploration. Times have changed now and there are multiple privately funded corporations developing technology to take humans into space. None of these are better known than SpaceX. The Elon Musk owned company is now on the same level as NASA when it comes to the cutting edge and exploration of space. So what is the difference between SpaceX and NASA? Well, if you're hungry for knowledge, here it is. But before we get into this, please take a few seconds to smash that subscribe button, give us a like, and share and tickle that bell icon. It is only two seconds for you in exchange for a lifetime of our gratitude. Launching rockets, people, and cargo into space is an endeavor that requires a gargantuan amount of capital. The prohibitive cost and insane level of technical knowledge required are why there are only a few privately funded companies in the business of space travel. SpaceX is one of those companies, and arguably the company leading the pack of this emerging billionaire hobby of going into space. Elon Musk and SpaceX have built an excellent reputation in the private sector of space travel. One of the most amazing about SpaceX is the fact that Elon Musk started the company with his own money. The company grew fast and began to catch the eye of organizations like NASA. Back in 2002, Elon, who was then a member of what the media dubbed the PayPal Mafia, had switched gears and began a privately funded company dedicated to space travel. He named the company SpaceX, and within a few short years, the company would be on the radar of anyone looking at the future of space travel. In 2006, NASA awarded SpaceX an exclusive contract to develop a vehicle that could carry cargo to and from the International Space Station. That same year, SpaceX developed and successfully launched the Falcon 1 rocket, which was the first ever liquid-fueled rocket built privately that was capable of reaching Earth's orbit. In 2008, NASA decided to use SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon space capsule for the job of ferrying astronauts and cargo to the ISS once the space shuttle program was suspended in 2011. In 2010, SpaceX sent another milestone by being the first privately owned company to launch a spacecraft into orbit and then successfully recover the spacecraft, a feat that has only been accomplished by a couple of countries. Over the next few years, SpaceX would be contracted by both NASA and private companies to put satellites into orbit, but the goal was always manned spaceflight. In March of 2020, SpaceX would launch astronauts into space for the first in the Dragon 2 space capsule, and a few months later would be the first privately owned company to launch astronauts into orbit, then dock with the ISS so the astronauts could transfer to the station, then detach and return to Earth later. This accomplishment, along with many others, is why NASA and SpaceX are working so closely together. SpaceX is not the only privately funded company looking to the stars. Amazon's founder and multi-billionaire Jeff Bezos started Blue Origin in 2000. Its goal is to make space travel cheaper and accessible to more people. Other companies like Orbital and the Sierra Nevada Corporation focus on specific hardware and software essential to manned spaceflight. Though the list is short, there are competitors to SpaceX in the privately funded space race, but none have experienced the success SpaceX has, despite most of these companies being around a lot longer. Whenever the name NASA pops up, the thought that people have is regarding space travel. The organization has done incredibly well in that regard. Although NASA has been the big kid on the block for a long time, they have no problem helping privately funded companies bring their ideas to light. NASA is not only an entity committed to space travel, as over the years, NASA has sent more astronauts into space than any other country on Earth. And while the brave men and women are up there, they conduct all manner of experiments that directly affect everyday life on Earth. Research and development in space have real-world implications down here on the Earth's surface, and we have NASA to thank for huge leaps in multiple fields that range from video games to healthcare. NASA was responsible for the development of a medical device that can keep patients alive before and during a heart transplant. This miracle piece of medical technology was based on the fuel pump aboard the space shuttle. Experiments aboard the space shuttle led doctors to a better understanding of bone and blood diseases and the development of medications to better control those issues. Research done aboard the space shuttle has even led to developments in the video game industry, particularly virtual reality. 
NASA also has an interest in the environment and has conducted several experiments and projects dedicated to helping Mother Earth. Quality air is essential for healthy living. If you move to areas where air pollution is high, you will notice that a large number of people living in such places are unhealthy. However, hydrocarbons and other pollutants such as sulfur oxide, carbon monoxide, and particulate matter have long been affecting human beings, crops, and even sea animals. The issue of air pollution has forced many health organizations to embark on projects that will make things better. And one of the such organizations is changing things with the introduction of new technology is NASA. NASA is making use of observational technology, which is a high-tech observation system. The tech helps you track and can also provide useful information for a better understanding of the Earth's air quality. This observational tech from NASA is called the HSRL, High Spectral Resolution LIDAR. The organization, in conjunction with the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, is using this high technology to conduct the study. The study is to measure smoke aerosols produced during a wildfire. The study will help both organizations to understand how wildfire affects air quality and steps that can be taken in order to keep the air clean. Eco-concerns are given governments and health bodies across the world sleepless nights. Issues of global warming keep on appearing on the front pages of newspapers across the globe. Due to the growing issue of global warming, NASA has stepped in to provide a helping hand. The organization is fueling climate change study by using sophisticated devices as always. One of those technologies is the airborne radar devices, which are testing devices. They are being deployed in a space-based radar system to study the flow of glaciers, among others. The findings from this project will help scientists to answer some of the more mind-boggling questions about the issue of global warming. It will also help scientists to understand what may happen to the ice masses of the world in the future. NASA is leading this project, and that is good news for those who have been calling for urgent intervention. The organization does have the technical ability to help make things happen, but we can only hope for the best. We all agree that fossil fuels aren't doing the world any good. They fill the atmosphere with harmful greenhouse gases that are serving as the primary cause of global warming. So the focus is to develop clean energy that will replace fossil fuels. This clean energy will help to make our atmosphere cleaner and safe for all living things. NASA has already set the standards pretty high. The organization's now retired space shuttle and clean burning hydrogen fuel. The organization wants to use this fuel for all Earth-bound technologies, which is a pretty wise step. Impressively, the NASA scientists have made an exciting discovery and are working on several other related projects. They have developed means of getting clean energy from algae. So now it is clear to you what the differences are between SpaceX and NASA. One of them is that SpaceX is a privately owned company founded by Elon Musk. The company offers space launch services, whereas NASA, on the other hand, is an organization controlled by the U.S. government. NASA is also the biggest customer that SpaceX has had. Although NASA is funded by the government and SpaceX is privately funded, the two entities are now very much intertwined. NASA is now depending on SpaceX as its only means of getting cargo and astronauts to the space station. There are also plans in the works for a lunar landing that NASA plans to partner with SpaceX on. It seems another major and arguably most glaring difference between NASA and SpaceX is that NASA needs SpaceX, but SpaceX does not need NASA. SpaceX was launching rockets into orbit long before NASA started to use them to get into space. Now that the two are partnered up, it seems their futures are tied to each other. We can only imagine what NASA and SpaceX will do next, but one thing is for sure. There is new interest in space travel, and once again the public is taking notice. We have companies like SpaceX and forward thinkers like Elon Musk to thank for their renewed public interest in space exploration. What are your thoughts about the advancements of SpaceX and NASA? Leave your comments down below, then be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share the video, and then tinker on that notification bell.